Well, we'll take the win and finish off non-conference and uh, uh, much more pleased in the second half. You know, I thought uh, inserting Zach into the lineup in the second half after studying some of the plus minus stuff at the break, it was clear that he was really uh, a big difference when he was in there. So first four to five, six minutes of the second half, I thought, you know, that was really big having him in there. That got our defense to offense going with some easy baskets, extending the lead. And then from that point forward, you know, I thought we played pretty comfortable. We didn't turn it over as much in the second half um, and uh, continued to work the ball inside as much as we possibly could to play inside out with our advantage. And, uh, you know, I thought some guys stepped up and, and did some better things in the second half. Very disappointing first half, but much better second half. Mike. I think the last uh, three, four games, Zach's been playing starters minutes, just kind of given some of the, the slow starts to games. Did you maybe see that role changing from actually being a starting guy? We'll see. We'll study it. I think as you head into Big Ten play, you're going to need your best guys uh, that are playing the best out there. And, you know, you take inventory on, on what that is. Uh, we'll make a decision, you know, going forward. But I, I like Zach in there right now. I, I know you weren't here last year, but he kind of went through a similar process last season where he wasn't playing a lot initially, but it just sort of felt like his name kept coming up and coming up, and he yeah. just kind of earned more playing time. From a yeah, coach's it's, perspective, it's, what, is, what makes he, him – He's a, uh, you know, he's an everyday guy. You know, what you see out there in, in the game is what you see in practice. It's a little bit like we were talking about Juwan a couple weeks. What you see Juwan doing in the game, he's doing in practice. And, you know, that's why you have to put so much value on, you know, the workload that these guys go through every day. What are they actually getting done, um, you know, to earn the minutes? And Zach's earning his minutes not only in practice, but he's doing exactly in practice what he does in the game. You know, he's giving maximum effort. He's playing extremely hard. He's giving you a lot of hustle plays, a lot of winning plays. And, uh, you know, for him, when you start to play that way and you're not worried about scoring or shooting or anything else other than just doing your job, then the next thing that happens is you start to actually make a couple shots and you kind of make some couple plays on offense. So it's been good to see him grow up. And, uh, yeah, I know as we started the season, we try to learn our team. We try to figure out the best rotations. And I think as we've grown here over the last five to six games, I think we figured out that he needs to be a part of what we're doing. Follow that. Then, what's the next step for him? I mean, guess you know, in terms of always wanting to keep guys, keep pushing guys. What's the next step in your mind for him? I think the next step for him is just to continue to try and you know be be the best defender that he can possibly be, uh, adding rebounder, uh, a bigger player uh, on uh, you know in Big Ten play is going to be important on the perimeter. But I think low turnovers. You know, do your job, make the hustle plays when you're open, shoot it. Uh, be simple. I think if he keeps it simple, he's going to continue to give us, you know, great maximum effort. And when you can count on effort, you know, that's something that coach really relies on. And, you know, he's earning trust with our staff right now. Well, we're not rebounding the ball at all right now. And uh, even in the Tennessee Tech game, you know, they had 17 offensive rebounds um, in this game tonight. And that's not going to cut it uh, moving forward. I mean, you're just not going to be able to survive against the teams in our league if you can't rebound. So I think the defensive rebounding percentages, um, you know, that we're looking at right now, we got to be consumed with that. I think the other thing is we've got to be a better offensive team. You know, we do. We have to be a better offensive team right now. Uh, we're not shooting the ball anywhere near the capability we are. And part of it is I really believe we have four or five guys on our team, and I think that's the thing they start the game with. Boy, I hope I make one tonight. And you, you have three or four guys thinking, I hope I make one tonight, and that first one doesn't go in. Next thing you know, you got some guys out there really struggling. And I think that's part of it right now, worrying about the wrong things. If you worry about the right things, I'll make the example against Zach again. It's amazing how the ball will go in. And I think we got to get some guys out of the clouds, so to speak, in terms of the fog of why aren't my shooting good or why haven't I been doing this. Just worry about winning the game. Worry about playing the right way. Do your job. You know, e execute better. And I think, you know, it'll be a little bit easier for them. But I don't think the quality of our shots are terrible. I just think we're not making, you know, the open ones. And a lot of that's just mental right now. Well, I think, you know, the big thing with this current team is I think we're a low energy team. I think we're, we're not a hyped team. We don't have a couple guys on this team that like, you just know when the ball goes up, they are coming for you. 
Zach is moving in that direction of a guy that you know when he's in there. He's going full throttle. He's playing as hard as he can on defense. He's on the offensive glass. He's doing hustle plays on the floor. He'll do whatever it takes. And I think when you have guys out there that just like impact the game with their effort and their passion, you know, it really can spearhead some guys. We need to get some other guys on this team fired up and ready to go and playing like that. And right now, I think we've got some guys that have deteriorated as the last month has gone by. If you look at some of our production from some guys, we've deteriorated in some areas. And I think it's confidence. I think it's relying on offense rather than worrying about, you know, the commitment level to how hard you have to play and how much passion you have to play this game with. When you wear Indiana across the front of your jersey, I don't care who you're playing. You have to represent a lot more. I think Zach embodies that. And uh, we have to get more guys going in that direction and not really worrying about, boy, why isn't this guy making a shot right now? He'll make a shot if he just dives in the other, in the other pool. And, uh, you know, that's a big part of it. You know, we got to get Duran going right now. You know, Duran really, in my mind, isn't playing anywhere near where he was, you know, a month ago. Why is that? Well, we got to get him rolling again. We got to get him back in practice competing. You know, he's got to fit. If he's going to finish in the game, he's got to finish in practice and he can't, you know, be a guy that's not giving maximum effort all the time. If you do, you cheat it, you're going to struggle. You can't cheat the process. You know, it's always like that sometimes. I think, you know, especially when you're – you're, we're in transition a lot off missed shots, so you're coming down on your break. And uh, usually when, the you know, the ball's going away from you, you have to trust your players. And I think a lot of times in the first half when it's going away from us, uh, we're not as smart, we're not as detailed, we're not as good. And, uh, you know, some of the decision-making and the passing, um, not good. Second half, I think as it's coming to us, we have a little bit more control over those guys and are able to be a little bit more efficient with what we're running and how we're attacking them. So uh, only having, I think, five, five turnovers in the second half, much better. Uh, but 15 turnovers is too many tonight. Is that it? Jack, can we ask you about Wisconsin? Yeah, you can ask about the Big Ten season. Yeah, I mean, I guess just, and I don't know how much you've been able to look at like Wisconsin or Minnesota, but just kind of your thoughts on the league right now, uh, having maybe gotten that early window especially. Well, we got the early window, and I think, you know, those two games, um, you know, they, they meant a lot. You know, as you guys know now, once you start up, you know, where, where you're at, you got one and one. You got a bunch of teams at one and one, a couple two and those, a couple oh and two. So as you get ready to get geared up here, we're already a couple in. Um, in studying the league, I think our league is underrated. Um, I don't think we had a great non-conference as a league, but I think we have two Final Four teams, potential Final Four teams in our conference in Michigan State and Purdue. And I think those two teams clearly right now have established themselves as being at the top. From there, there's a lot of teams that have done some good things. And there's a lot of teams that have been up and down, but I think anyone in that pool is going to have an, have an opportunity night in and night out to win. I then think there's very much difference between a lot of teams, and that's from Rutgers all the way to Michigan State. I think every game is going to be a tough out. So it's going to be a heck of a conference race. And I feel like as the as the conference season goes, there's going to be plenty of opportunities, you know, for resume building wins. And I think our league will 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 be fine. Just with these two games today, Texas go on the road. You've been in this league before, obviously. You've been on the yeah. Road. How difficult is it to actually win on the road? In this league? It's the hardest league in the country to win on the road, without question. The home venues um, are packed, and uh, you know, in my experience here, to win on the road in this league is, is the hardest thing to do. And uh, Wisconsin, that's the only thing you can really concentrate on now. And uh, I know how hard it is to play there. And uh, that's our focus right now, is to find a way to be ready at that jump ball to compete and play as hard as we possibly can against them in, in that building, which we know is going to be very difficult. All right, Coach, thanks. Thank you. Thank you.